gone to Haiti here a few weeks ago. Regine was one of those, so she's been asked to talk about her trip this morning. Good morning. I've been asked to give a brief talk and share about the trip that I took to Haiti back on January 29th to the 5th of February of this year. And my journey began to Haiti about 10 months ago after speaking with Bruce and Angie Heliseth about their trip. I've always wanted to do mission work and the desire over the last couple of years grew stronger within me. And after speaking with them, it was confirmed I needed to go. And with the support and the hard work for my husband, Ernie, he was determined to make this happen for me. And God is good, and he always provides in many ways. And now that Saints Peter and Paul is part of the Five Saints Catholic community, we are also part of the Twin Parish Program. And my personal view of this trip to Haiti and our purpose while representing the Five Saints community is that we are ambassadors continuing to build relationships. And the Haitian people showed us that they truly appreciate our help and that their lives and their existence is dependent on our help. And I feel so much more blessed by what they have shown me than by what I have given them in the short time of being there. So the eight of us met at St. Cecilia's in Algona and that's where we began our journey. And when we arrived in Chantel, we were greeted with a very heartfelt welcome. And they were so excited for us being there and they made us feel very comfortable and at home. Monsignor Goose, he made all the efforts to make us feel safe and feel secure. His knowledge and his insights are a major reason the projects that we are supporting by this program, they continue to be so successful. The first day that we were there, we were able to visit four of the 11 chapels that are under the care of Monsignor Goose. And at all the locations, we were greeted with smiles and welcoming songs, and they thanked us for our help, and they presented us with gifts. And we were able to talk with them and to mingle and to shake their hands. And we had an interpreter to help us communicate. And I felt as part of their community. The time spent with them was very beautiful and emotional. And I had the feeling of God's presence doing his work. And over the course of the next several days, we visited all the remaining chapels and at each place, they made us feel like royalty, like we were so very special. They all had welcoming songs and they gifts. They were overwhelming at times. And the outpouring of their love and their sincerity was nonstop. This ceremony happened at every chapel that we visited, and we were able to share in the mass with them at most of the villages. The surrounding villages of Chantel they have a very strong, and they are just beautiful people, and they have their faith in God and their trust in God is just unbelievable. And I believe that God is using their lives in their situation to help us to develop and become one with Christ. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. And the Haitian people are truly happy people and I don't feel like they wanted handouts, but they want an opportunity to make it better for themselves and for their children. And with our help, we can make that happen. Rebuilding the chapels is a very high priority for Monsignor, and it is just a need for the people, a place for them to pray together, to worship God, and be united as a village is their number one importance to them. To have protection from the rains and the winds, it's important to them so that their worship time and their fellowship can continue. Worshiping together provides the peace that you can only find in God and the hope they need to persevere. 
to believe that there is a future for them and for their beautiful children. They are providing for us spiritually more than what we could ever provide for them physically. I ask that you keep the people in Haiti from our twin parish in your prayers because they are all praying for you and they're praying for me. Thank you and God bless.